Good evening, VV Nation. Ron Wheeler, Manager of Options Trading here, and it is my pleasure to bring you tonight's special presentation, Eight Simple Rules for Profitable Income Investing. So, let's jump right to it. The first thing that you need for a profitable investment strategy is you need a strategy to begin with. That's the big part, right? We need a strategy that's reliable and that's consistent over time. Now, when I talk to a lot of investors, a lot of traders, one of the things they always talk about is how they can't find trades easily. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. It's really not. Once you have a solid system or a plan in place, a rule-based mechanical system that looks for exact things on market timing, on graphs, it becomes very simple to pick out the best trades. Now, we're going to make it even more simple as we get into the presentation because we understand that most of you don't have a lot of time. You don't want to spend hours and hours doing research. Now, I'm a former day trader. For the first 12 years of my career, I day traded commodities, and I loved it. I did very well at it, but it got to the point where spending nine hours in front of my screen was not conducive to my health anymore. I didn't want to do it. It wasn't about the money. It started to get becoming about the health. So in my own career, I shifted into that fast-paced, rapid day trading lifestyle to a more casual lifestyle. And one of the first things I did is I brought my trading down to simply one trade per week. One trade is really all you need to become consistently profitable. So I always like to share some current results. This is my 2022 results as of right now. We are up about $14,000. Now this account would require $50,000 to trade. So the $50,000 account, you would be up $14,000, right around 28%. This win rate so far this year has been 63%, a little bit better than normal. My average winner, 1275. My average loser, about 1350. Now, I place these trades every Monday, and as you can see, I've placed 44 trades in 2022. Now, that's this year. What about prior years? What about years where the market's been in an uptrend? Well, this is 2016 to 2021, and as you can see, it's had a sustainable movement from lower left to upper right. Now, if this was a graph of a stock, you'd all want to say you'd be bullish on it, right? We'd all want to buy into this stock. Well, this is a P&L graph, and I will point out, and I'll talk more about this later, the longest period of really sideways behavior would have been, you know, in 2020 into mid-2021, where it kind of got stagnant a little bit, but it recovered, and now as you can see in 2022, we have that nice 28% return. Now, this is the SPX income trade. Now, for those of you that want to start income trading, for those of you that want to draw in consistent profits, but you don't want to spend a lot of time, this is for you. Because what we're going to do is we're going to break this down into one symbol. We're going to trade the SPX cash options, no other symbol, one trade. We're either going to go bullish or bearish. So one rule for direction. We have a very distinct profit rule. We have a very distinct loss rule. That's it. This trade can be done in as little as 15 minutes a week. It really is that simple. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be using options. Now, we're going to use solely options. We're not going to buy any stock, sell any stock. It's all going to be done with options. You can do this in an IRA. You can do this in all different types of accounts. The idea behind this trade is we are going to perform an options trade that gives us a 60% base probability of success. Now, what does that mean? Here's what it means. Take a look at this graph of the S&P. What it means is the S&P is trading at about 38.50 right now. If I thought that the S&P was going to go bullish, I will choose a price underneath the stock price, or in this case, the index price, that gives me room to make money if the S&P goes up, sideways, or down. I have a 60% probability to stay in the green area and only a 40% probability to stay in the losing red area. Now, this is called a bull put credit spread. The simultaneous selling of a put 
and buying of a put to protect the position. And what you can kind of see, I've set this up on an options risk graph. And I know that everybody has seen these before, but essentially this is the risk graph. So as the S&P rises, you can see our profits start to rise as well. If the S&P starts to drop, you will see our profits start to drop as well. And then you can see right about here, right underneath this area is the area of which we can be wrong. So it's right around 37.85. Now that's if the market is bullish. It looks like the market may be going bullish now. The DEW is turned up. We'll have to see how this plays out. For most of the year, however, we've actually been bearish. So in a bearish situation, we're basically just going to mirror the trade. We're going to pick a strike price for our option above the current price with a 60% probability. That means the SPX has a 60% probability to stay in this range. Not a 60% chance to go down now. It's just a 60% chance to stay in that range. So we can go down, it can go sideways, it can even go up, and we still have profitable room. If it switches into the red area, we would take a trade loss and walk away from the trade. This trade is called a bear call credit spread. It's a very simple trade to perform. And again, most accounts can do this, even most IRAs. Now, step number two, or rule number two, don't overanalyze the market. You know, all of us get locked into paralysis by analysis. We don't want to go and look at 15 different studies or 20 different indicators. It really doesn't have to be that difficult. The way I set up my trades is I use market timing. Now, I use the DEW. If the DEW is bearish, I place a bearish trade. If the DEW is bullish or up, I place a bullish trade. So uptrend, I go bullish. Downtrend, I go bearish. That's it. That's all you have to do. In fact, when I teach this to a lot of my clients, this is actually a stumbling block. Ron, that's all I have to do. I don't have to look at moving average. I don't have to look at this. I don't have to compare this and go back and forth. No, you don't have to do it. We are trading with probability. Because we have that wiggle room to be wrong, we don't have to be exactly precise. If the dew is up, we go bullish. If the dew is down, we go bearish. That's it. Now, in this nature, I would also tell you to not overreact. A lot of people, when they get into a bullish position or a bearish position, there might be some news that comes out that day. They go over to CNBC and they say, oh my goodness, I'm bearish, but the Dow jumps more than 200 points on Friday and heads for a winning week. What am I to do? Nothing. This system, this concept, and this is for any type of trade, by the way, whether it's an SPX income trade, whether you're just buying stock or selling stock, don't overreact. Don't overreact to situations. Now, I'm just picking a graph of the S&P and dates by random here. It doesn't really matter what the date is. I just want to show you an example of overreacting. Let's say on January, or July 21st, you placed a bullish trade on the SPX. Now, remember, we think the market might go up from here, right? And again, I don't know the market timing back then. I'm just showing you a graph. That's all. So let's say we get into the trade. We have a trade where the S&P is at around 39.98. We have a stop let's say somewhere down here. This is where the trade would ultimately end in a loss. So the next day comes in, the trade goes sideways. All right, well, it happens, Ron. It's no big deal, right? The trade's not winning yet. You know, we're one day into this trade, no worry. The next day, all right, it's down a little bit, but that's okay. I, I think this is going to work. But then, boom, the next day the market drops like a rock. Oh my gosh, I'm out, I, I, this is not going to work out for me. If I get out right now, I could take a, a smaller loss and everything's going to be okay. Let me just get out of the trade now. So you get out of the trade. And what happens the next day? The market shoots up. Trust the process. Trust the trend. Because oftentimes, and this is one of the lessons I learned as a new trader, I would get whipsawed by positions like that. Where I'm long, but then, uh-oh, we have one big bar where it moves against us, and I get out of the trade, and the next day the trade goes up. So you have to be careful about overreacting to market situations. Now, the third rule of profitable income trading is controlling your risk. We are performing an option spread. Now, 
as I've instructed, as I've taught people about option spreads, and again, this can be any type of trade you're doing. It really doesn't matter. What you don't want is one bad trade wiping out a bunch of winners. It's just not conducive to long-term trading. I've often told people, if you want a 90% successful system, I've got one for you. Now, people automatically jump. Oh, 90%. That's great. I want that system, Ron. Sell it to me. Tell it to me. Teach it to me. Right? But then I tell them that they're going to make $100 every time they win, and they're going to lose $3,000 every time they lose. Oh, that's not good. No, it's not good. You have to manage your trades appropriately. We cannot have a situation where your losers are vastly outpacing your winners. Now, one of the things I like about options in particular is we can lock in our max losses. Take a look at this trade right here. Now, if you look over to the right, you're going to see the max profit on the trade is $335, but the max risk is $665. And I know that sounds like a lot right? Oh my gosh, I'm going to lose twice as much as I gain. That's not how this works. We have one simple rule for exiting and one simple rule for exiting with a loss. So if this trade becomes profitable, I'm going to take profits at 50% of my maximum profits. So that's about 167 in this particular trade. So my profit target would be half of this, 167, 167.50 to be exact. And then what I would do is if the S&P falls and we move past the price of the option we sold, we would exit the trade. So in this particular trade, we would only lose $90. We have a $167 potential profit and a $90 potential loss. But Ron, what if the market gaps? It can happen. I've had a few of these trades gap against me. But I want you to continue following that dashed line all the way down. If this trade ends up being incorrect, the market would have to drop four, five, six hundred points in a day for you to sustain that maximum maximum risk. It's just not going to happen. So even if you're not perfect with your stops, you have enough wiggle room here to be good. Now, compare and contrast to this example here. This is a trade that look at all of this room that I have to work with, but my credit is $90. I'm going to make $45 on every winning trade, and then I would lose $351 on every one of my losses. That's a lot. You're basically losing eight winning trades every time you lose. That's not a sustainable model of trading. You have to control your risk. Now, one of the best things about option spreads is they are very risk controlled. I often use the analogy of, you know, how do I prevent injury from jumping off the roof of my house? Can I put some mattresses down, jump into some boxes? The ultimate way to prevent injury is to not jump off the roof. If I don't jump off the roof, I won't have any injuries at all. Don't take trades that look like this. Make sure your model is sustainable with profits equal to or greater than the risk. Because if you have trades like this, it becomes really, really hard to recover your losses. It's a big uphill climb. Now, rule number four is keep your position size consistent. What happens to a lot of traders is they don't keep things consistent and they end up having a $500 winner, a $1,000 winner, a $2,000 winner. And that all sounds good. But your losses are $5,000, $3,000, $2,000, $500. What we want to do is keep everything consistent. We want to have our wins a consistent rate. We want to have our losses a consistent rate. Too many times I've seen traders take the gambling approach. You know, I'm going to go all in on this one because I feel that this trade is the one. Remember, no trade is the one. They all have the same level of success. That's all there is to it. Now, why do you want, what is the consistency? You want to know the amount you win and you want to know the amount you're going to lose. That helps you build consistency. So if I take a look at some of the long-term movement of this, over the last seven years, this trade has generated 61% winners and about 39% losers. My average gain is $141 
That's per contract, and my average loss is $149 per contract. Now, to trade a one contract position, you would need a $5,000 account. However, let's boost this up into some more bigger numbers, right? So the way this works is we're risking 3%. When we make a winning trade, we're making about 3% gain. When we lose, we're going to lose about 3%. And the average trade length here is about three days. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So again, let's look at some numbers. Out of 100 trades, you have 61 winning trades and you have 39 losers. Now, what I did is I just took this out of decimal for 10 contracts. On the winning trades, you're going to make $1,410. So for that, you would need a $50,000 account, which kind of max matches my uh, account that I showed you earlier. On a loser, you're going to lose $1,497. Now, out of the year, now let's put some numbers to this. So let's say we place 100 trades. Out of that 100 trades, we have 61 winners and we have 39 losers. Okay, 61 winners times 1,410 is an $86,010 profit. With the 39 losses, we would have a loss of $58,383. The net gain of that is $27,627. Now, that's a pretty good return. Now, understand that's 100 trades. So if you place this one trade a week, like it's designed, this would essentially be your profits over two years. That's a 50% plus return on your $50,000 in capital. Remember, if you did this type of behavior, you would need 10 contracts and a $50,000 account. If you want to do this with less, just do the math. $25,000, cut this in half. Instead of $27,000 in profits, you'd be looking at $13,800 in profits or whatever the math would work out to be there. Okay? You have to maintain consistency. And the way that you maintain consistency is by following your plan. You must follow the plan down to the letter. Now, I mentioned earlier that the plan is very simple. And it reminds me of one of the quotes I love the most about trading. And the, now, this is, has nothing to do with trading, by the way, but it's one of the quotes that I relate very much to trading. In the fields of observation, chance favors only those minds which are prepared. If you prepare yourself right by following the right market direction, the right trade rules, the right exit for profits, the right exit for losses, your mind is prepared. Chance favors you already. Now, one of the great parts about this system is if you have a broker like Thinkorswim, and again, it, it could be interactive brokers, other brokers, I typically actually have stops already placed ahead. For about 95% of my trades that I've placed this year, the trading has been nearly automated. I go in on Monday morning around 11 o'clock. That's just when I choose to trade the system. I place my trade. I put a stop condition in the market, and my trade either gets exited for profits or a loss, and I walk away and do the trade the very next week. So this can be done depending on your broker. If you don't have a broker that can take it to this level of automation, well, I've traded this system for years and years and years without this level of automation. Set an alert, exit the trade when your stop gets hit, you walk away and you're done. Now, that's the basis of a good systematic approach to being a profitable trader. I want to talk about something very big though. And I've been trading for 25 years and I've been teaching investment concepts for about 20 of those years. I first started in the industry as an IT person, and then I started trading as the result of my job, and then I decided to transition my career into trading. So the first five years of my career, I really didn't teach trading. I was still learning as well. One of the biggest mistakes that I see people make when they implement a system is they give up too soon. You know, the old analogy of throwing the baby out with the bathwater, are you suffering from a losing trade or is it a losing system? Now, I want to go back to the long-term success rate of this idea. Now, again, if you don't think of what I'm doing here as applicable to you because, Ron, I'm never going to trade options. I'm never going to do something like this. Listen, that's okay. Take this approach to buying good stocks, to buying contra ETFs, to doing whatever investment model you are trading. It doesn't matter. Are you having a losing trade or are you having a losing system? Now, for the SPX, I can tell you that the system over time has performed extremely well. 
It averages 2.5% per month return. It's been very, very good over the long haul. But even in saying that, if you look at this graph of profits, and again, if this was a stock, you'd be bullish, right? Moving from the lower left to the upper right-hand corner. The only thing I'd want to check next is earnings. <laughs> but this is a profit graph. Anyway, look at this graph in certain places. What would have happened if you had started trading right here, right there? And for the first two months, you had losses. Now, what I see a lot of traders do is they quit. Well, that system doesn't work. I need to start looking at the internet again and find a system that actually performs well. And then what happened? They missed a fantastic run. Or maybe right here. They get into the system, and then immediately we have some of our biggest drawdown that we ever had in the SPX system. Well, you know, the system doesn't work, so I'm done. And then they miss this. Now, sure, they remain stagnant for a couple months, but then they miss the 2022 rise where we're up 27, 28%. The one thing that I cannot control is that level of timing. As much as I would love for every trader out there to start off profitable and start off here and just get nothing but movement from lower left to upper right, I can't control that. I can't do it. So when you commit to an investing model, Make sure you're committed for a large sample size. Now, if you're risking the proper amount, and in this case for the S&P, we risk no more than 3% of our account. If you're doing it a little bit more conservatively, you could do 1% or 2%. 3% would be the ultimate max. And the reason why I go up to 3% is because I know the long-term statistics of this strategy. So I'm willing to go a little bit deeper into the risk. So if you're taking a trading system that's only gonna do 1% risk, again, be prepared to risk that 1%. Don't do three or four trades and judge the system on short-term results. You have, to be a, you have to be confident enough to continue trading, even if you start off in a weak beginning. And you can't be afraid to take a loss. You know, we talked about this a little bit earlier. We talked about that you want to make sure you follow the plan. The plan says you're going to have wins. You're going to average 60% wins. You have about 40% losses. One of the things that I see a lot of traders do after they take a loss, they go back into that overanalyzation mode. Well, Ron, what could I have done to prevent this loss? Could I have done this? Could I have looked at this indicator, that indicator, this indicator, that indicator? What you're starting to do is question system. Now, it's natural. It's understanding to go back and look at that. But... You're going to fall into that trap of overanalyzing, and then the next time you take a trade, you're going to be sitting there not knowing what to do. Well, the system tells me this, but I see divergence here and this. You have to rely on market direction and the probability built into your trade. Now, number seven, don't focus on the money. What do I mean by focusing on the money? Of course we want to make money. Of course we want to have profits, right? That's the overall goal. Why would we trade? Why would we invest if we don't want to make money? So what are you thinking here, Ron? What I'm thinking here is very, very simple. I want to read this quote. I got this out of a uh, Monday morning quarterback column, and it's about Drew Brees. And he talks about the process. And really, the process is what Judge learned in his years coaching under Nick Saban at Alabama and Bill Belichick in New England. No one wants to hear endlessly about the process because it's boring and it doesn't come with magic quick results. It's like what Drew Brees told me once when I asked him his advice to young quarterbacks. He thought for a minute and then answered earnestly in a way that the best coaches would truly appreciate. What Brees said is, so much of our league is about results, right? We're in a results-driven business, just like trading is, right? But truly, it's about the process. If you focus on the process, the results take care of themselves. Develop your process. Focus on that process. Too many times we get frustrated because the result didn't match up with the process. But if you focus on the process, eventually you get to the point where good process will consistently equal good result. This is what I talk about when I say not focusing on the money. When you put in a new trading system, everybody wants to get instant results. Ron, I want to make money in the first month or the system doesn't work. And that honestly is just not the case. The one thing that we can't control is the timing portion of when the drawdowns are going to occur. Think about it. If we could control when drawdowns were going to occur, we wouldn't have any drawdowns. 
Okay, so we don't know. We have to trust the process because I, again, have seen too many traders fail when they have a couple losses in a row, then they see us on a winning streak, they jump back into it, take two losses, and now they're just completely done with the system. You have to maintain consistency if you want to see long-term success. Now, the first seven steps are going to help you create a profitable investing model, no matter what you trade. These are things that you're going to want to focus on, whether you're going to do option spreads, you're going to buy calls or puts, you're going to buy or sell stocks. It doesn't make a difference. Now, if you want to learn more in depth about what we do to implement that S&P strategy. Step number eight or rule number eight is learn to implement the rules. So I hope you enjoyed the first seven. Those are gonna again, teach you and get you started off to the right direction. If you wanna take your education a step further, I wanna introduce you to a class that we're running called the Options Paycheck Experience. Now the Options Paycheck Experience is the most comprehensive options income course you will find. It's that simple. Our SPX One Trade Weekly strategy has averaged over the last seven years 2.5% per month, one trade per week. In the Options Paycheck Experience, we're going to take you beyond that, though. We're going to show you how to trade stocks in this method using those same seven beginning steps to ensure your success. Now, after going through this course, you will know exactly what calls and puts do how they work. You're going to learn the terms that you need to know to trade options properly. You're going to have clear signals telling you when or not to trade, just like we talked about in the steps. You're going to be able to quickly identify the stocks or the index, which is the best trading candidate. You're going to be able to set up income trades that give you that 70% success rate, the great strategy. You're going to have a trade management game plan in place so you can be consistent, so you don't risk too much. You'll be able to enter and exit trades with your broker. And after a month, you will be able to implement a system that has proven itself over the last seven years to safely and consistently generate profits. Now, the course itself is an eight module course. We discuss the course in the month of November. The class starts on Tuesday. And every week we will discuss two modules. We go from the beginning of an option income foundation. We teach you market direction, stock and index selection, how to select the options. We do trade setup to make sure your risk and reward is proper. We do a management section that tells you how many contracts you should trade, what the stop prices are, where to exit with profits. We don't want you frozen like a deer in the headlight. And then in module eight, we also talk about broker side of this. So we'll let you know what to look for in your broker, some ideas on how to place these trade with your brokers, and even some walkthrough videos for a few of the more popular brokers. Now I do have to offer you a couple of bonus plans here. In November, we have what's called the mastery package. In November, we are going to teach you two modules per week. From those two modules, we're going to have two mastery sessions. They're about an hour long. Those are your chance to come in, work with me and my team, and learn it master it and at, you know ask any questions you have of us. That way, as you're going from module to module, you're ready to implement the steps. We also have an end of the week Q&A. That's just another live session that you can have that will, again, answer any questions. We have an online Facebook community that you're welcome to join. We have a private dedicated email that goes right to me and the team. So you have access to us as quick as you can. And then if you don't have VectorVest or if you're on a trial, we'll extend that and we'll give you Options Pro for the two months of the course. And I'll give you a calendar here shortly. Now in December, we are gonna have what's called our implementation month. In December, I want to make sure that you're ready to put this into place for 2023. You're gonna get invited to my weekly coaching. The What I showed you earlier with my SPX system, those trades were done in class, live in front of my coaching group. Those are real trades that I've done. We're gonna do those with you as well, okay? Mondays, we have two trading sessions for the indexes and for stocks. We have office hours twice a week. 12 total sessions in the month of December to make sure you are ready to do this, okay? So live trading with me to make sure you're ready to implement this and make money. We're also gonna include that SPX paycheck system. Again, 15 minutes a week, one symbol, one setup rule, one profit and stop rule, and we're gonna have those live trading sessions in December. Now, the way the course is constructed, you view the modules in a pre-recorded class, then you come to the mastery class and we discuss, we talk about the assignments and answer any questions you have. 
everything that we do is recorded. So if your schedule doesn't allow you to come to the live sessions, don't worry about it. You can miss them and just watch the recording. So the month of November, registration closes at 10 a.m. on Tuesday. Our welcome session is going to be at 5 p.m. just to make sure you know where all the materials are for the course and what we're expecting and what hopefully what you expect from us. And then we're going to dive right into it. Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to learn about modules one and two. You're going to watch those sessions pre-recorded, and then we're going to do it Wednesday and Thursday, a mastery. We're going to answer questions, do the quizzes with you, walk you through the assignments, and really answer any questions you may have. And then you see through the month of November, the mastery for three and four of the following week, five and six, and then seven and eight, the uh, last full week of November. And those are at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Then the live Q&A is also at Friday. It's at noon Eastern time. And again, if you can't make those, they're all recorded. You can watch them anytime you'd like. Send us email. We can answer the questions in, your, in the live class, and you can watch the recording. Now, in the month of December, this is your implementation month. Okay? Every Monday at 11 a.m., I do an index class, and at 2 p.m., I do a stock credits class. This is where we're going to implement the options paycheck system. You're going to see live trades. I trade my account in there, and you're going to see me implement what you've learned in November. And then twice during the week, 5 p.m. on Tuesday, we have an office hour session. And then at noon Eastern time on Friday, we have another office hour session. Now, the great part about that Friday session is I also do live trading in there as well. So it's another option or another day for us to get together and implement the paycheck approach. We've been teaching this class for over six years now. We have a lot of former clients that have been very happy with their results. So if you're ready to jump in, apply those seven steps, seven rules to income and profitable trading, jump in with me in November. Order before 6 p.m. Monday. You can get it for our special price of $9.95. All you got to do is go to www.optionspaycheck.com. This is our last class for 2022. Get yourself in there. Get yourself registered. Let us help you prepare for a profitable 2023. Thanks for spending your time with me tonight. I appreciate it. Best of success to you in trading, and we'll see you next time.